Hey everyone, my name is Katie Thompson. I am a singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and music producer. I am here on behalf of Music Over Miles to talk to you today about how to set up a MIDI keyboard in your digital audio workstation or DAW so that you can start to create really fun beats and maybe produce some electronic music. So let's get into it. Okay, so something to know right off the bat about hooking up an electronic instrument to your computer. If you are running something other than an Apple product, so let's say if you are running uh, Pro Tools or if you're running Ableton or Cakewalk or even FL Studio, you may have to uh, use a driver to power these things first. So typically, you will download some kind of software or depending upon the version of these keyboards that you buy, you might end up actually uh, getting a driver like in form of a CD that you would put into your computer, install all the software, and then you'd be good to go. So it really just depends on the workstation that you're using. So just be very mindful of that before you actually get started. So then after you get your driver installed, what's really cool is uh, the computer and the MIDI keyboard will just start talking to each other and they will bring up uh, preset patches. And what that means is uh, typically when you pull up, let's say, a keyboard sound, all of the keys, if you start touching them, should start lighting up like in the screen and you should start getting some signal, okay? If you don't use a driver, that's not gonna happen. So be very, very careful if you have questions, best to consult the actual uh, maker of your keyboard. So like this is an Alesis. If I had an Alesis question, I would get in touch with them, see if they could have somebody help me troubleshoot. Okay, just a quick tip. Okay, friends, so this is the super, super simple way to route your MIDI keyboard in Logic or GarageBand. So we're not actually going to assign anything to your MIDI controller, which is definitely something that you can do. But if you are just starting out and you are just really at the beginner level, this is this is the, this, the tipping point. This is where you need to start. So what we're going to do, and this is super easy, you're going to select software instrument in the new track window and then leave it at empty channel strip. This is the default default setting, so don't worry about it. Uh, output one and two also default. And then you're just going to hit create. And then there you go. You have a track that is ready to go. And all you have to do from here on out is choose what kind of sound you think you want. So I'm going to select electronic drum kit drum designer and let's do the big room because I like this one I'm comfortable with it you might choose something a little bit later on that's a little different and that's totally fine I recommend choosing something totally different so let's take a look and see what kind of sounds we get so over here I have my beat pad and what I'm gonna do is just kinda you know experiment and see what sounds I have available to me So if you don't have a beat pad, that's okay. You can use the keys too. There you go. All the same, all the same. So same sounds that you get here that you get here. It's just nice if you do have one of these beat pads, then you'll be able to actually, you know, just play it almost like it was a drum. So, but that doesn't mean that you have to. It's just fine to use the keys as well. So next, let's take a look at what if we want to add a track. So all you have to do, hit the new track window there with the plus button. And again, it's the same thing. Just hit create and you will be good to go. You'll see that the sound bank resets itself and then you can choose from anything else that's there. So for fun, let's just choose orchestra, choose strings, and let's do cinema strings and play a nice big chord. So there you go. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot that you really have to do as far as routing your MIDI. Uh, the cool thing about using a Mac is that typically it will just 
pre-assign all of these all of these pads and all of these keys for you you don't necessarily have to worry about okay I have to go in there and actually tell logic to use this one for that one it comes preset like that now later on once you become advanced if you want to actually program these to do something specific you can that's the cool thing about MIDI keyboards is that they're very versatile and as you see up here, I've even got a, a ton of faders. I have a massive sound bank. So what I can do with this eventually is I could create an entire beat or like an entire chord progression, save it to bank one, and then create another chord progression in bank two. And then I can switch between these two if I wanted to in performing a song. So. That's a really cool way to, you know, to start experimenting with your MIDI keyboard, but that's not something that we're going to get into because it is a little bit more advanced. So for right now, we're just going to stick to what's in your computer and the kind of sounds you can manipulate there. So in the next video, I am going to be talking about how we can start to create sounds. How, how do we use, you know, all of these different sounds to create maybe like a hip hop beat or even an EDM beat. So there's a lot that's going to go into it. And I hope that today's lesson was super exciting for you and that you can just start creating and have a lot of fun. So again, thanks for watching. My name is Katie Thompson, and this has been for Music Over Miles.